this is already crazy, but how it, dreadful! How dreadful! Yes, Watson, indeed, very dreadful, very dreadful indeed, Watson. Like dreadful. The paper Holmes used to wrap that mysterious package that he left at the judge's house just a few minutes before the explosion. I wonder what it was. Well, I wonder what it was. Well, the paper's still here, which is kind of weird. Because that would indicate that Holmes only left part of it. Locked. Holmes locked his room? Really? Oh, very no, peculiar. I don't want to go to bed yet. I must wait for Holmes. And this is how my dear... Locked. Okay. There we go. Thought so. A fountain pen, just like the rat killers. Today, that dangerous maniac is free. And what's more, it is Holmes's fault. That inquiry at Westgate was a total failure. Actually, no, it wasn't. These events have shattered my nerves. I should sleep for a few hours. Or at least, I should try. Oh, Watson, Watson, you're just complaining. What are you complaining? Holmes is... Holmes is trustworthy. Silly Watson, get oh, some sleep. Always. What the f Well, Watson went Doctor. to hell. There you are. Really? I was poisoned. By who? Ah, you know him very well. Such a clever man. A brilliant What the heck happened to your life? Oh, God, so that's... Evil. He's heard so many of us. Who are you talking about? Who? So hot. Flames. The heat is unbearable. Walter, I beg you. Where is he, that devil? One day he will have to answer to a higher power. Oh, I need air. I need water. Ease my pain. Who did this to you? Ah! Ah! Dr. Watson. Is that Lucy? Lucy, you are wounded. I can't find my children, Doctor. Find them for me. But I beg you, keep them away from Mr. Home. Lucy, no. Why do you say oh. that? Let me help you. You are so kind. It is too late for me, but you can still say it. Well... Holmes, I know you were in there. Holmes, open this door immediately. I think that I would rather not. Tell me the truth, Holmes. I need to know. You have no right to keep the truth from me. Tell me. I am sorry. You can't handle the truth. truth. Or I will break it down. <laughs> Welcome, Bill. The testament of Sherlock Holmes. Do what you like. Sorry, the door is unlocked. To... Wait, wait, Bill. Look, look, sorry, look, look. Holmes is only a gun at Watson. No, Holmes. No. And so who actually it lost possible. it? Watson. Watson's the one that lost more sanity, despite the fact that Holmes is the one that studied the Cthulhu tomes three games ago. Mm -hmm. Which means Holmes passed the sanity checks. On? To be fair, Watson yes. also had... Yes, just oh, one moment, I'm coming. And the police are here. This is a big cutscene. So, Bill, you came in at a perfect time. Mm-hmm. There's a lot to explain. Her. Mr. Holmes here. Inspector Baines, what? Is he here or not? No, I do not believe so. Open the door. Quickly. You're going to have to come with me, Doctor. We have a lot of questions to ask you about your relationship with Sherlock Holmes. And also regarding your movements early yesterday evening. It's empty, Inspector. Get dressed. We're leaving in two minutes. Yes, I'm coming. I'll do all I can to help you. I would also like to find the answers to some of my own questions. Sergeant? I'd like you to stay here with some of your men and search the place from top to bottom. If there is one clue here that will lead me to him, then I want you to find it. Doctor, you must understand that I am sorry about this situation. But if, as we believe, Holmes is a murderer, I won't hesitate to arrest him. What did you say? A murderer? You heard me, Doctor. The Bishop's murderers informed us that they were following orders from Sherlock Holmes. Yo. 
This shit mm. got dark. The next mm, morning. It's fine. And look I, at our place. Baines and his men have ransacked the place during my interrogation at Scotland Yard. I would never have imagined that I should be put through such an ordeal. I have always fought on the side of justice, but to be interrogated for hours like a common criminal, having to proclaim my innocence over and over again. Baines is convinced that Holmes is guilty, but who can blame him? Everything seems to point to him. I had thought that the worst was behind me, but here I am as a suspected accomplice. All I need to do is to find Holmes, and when I find him, I'll... I'll decide. I'm going to search the flat. Perhaps Baines overlooked some clues. So we get to see Watson in action. So, Bill. Long and short. We first did a jewel thing, which was basically the tutorial area. The jewel thing um, uh, then led into the next case, which involved the fact that um, we had to go visit a bishop. Because the bishop wanted to speak to us. When we got there, the bishop was dead, and basically we threatened and interrogated a minister for information. So, so frame for murder, gotcha. Uh, well, no, the guys that actually murdered him were supposedly following orders from Holmes. We then, after that, we used that for three different places of information. One, to talk to a former poisoner slash chemist who was in a jail. We helped break him out. And then Holmes just had secured the guy somewhere. We don't know where. Because we're partially from Watson's perspective. That's how the writings are. So that's important to note. We searched after the bishop's nephew. A young kid that's got OCD issues. So he's super OCD. Um, we confronted him in a steel foundry. Where Toby... Remember Toby, Bill? Who was Toby again? Holmes' dog, the bloodhound. Ah. You know, big old floppy ears. Extra skin, floppy. Actually, I don't think I saw the dog before, but it sounds adorable. Yeah, um, have you seen ever seen the Great Mouse Detective? Yeah, I, sh I remember that. The dog that the detective in that is riding is Toby. Oh, really? <laughs> That's the joke, is that the mouse lives underneath Sherlock Holmes' house. That explains so much. Yeah, and the dog is literally Toby. And dog. yeah, so yeah, Toby is that type of dog. And yeah, so he, we had Toby. Toby fell and basically knocked the kid into the molten metal where he melted. He was a, he was scared of Holmes. And we also did an investigation in the White Chapel. And Holmes tried to shoot the kids in the, well not the kids, they were adult men in the face. One of them was only oh, talked and rargs. In an opium den. And that's what we've been up to so far. Uh, then uh, we investigated the journalist. who f We found out, oh, the journalist is working with some guy that's rich. And he's the guy basically feeding the journalist information about how Holmes is a corrupt individual. Following that, we went to the judge's house. Because it turned out to be a judge. And it turns out the judge uh, was feeding him the information because... The judge has an entire safe filled with information dealing with Sherlock Holmes. And they're labeled by intimidation, forgery, robbery, and murder, the sections. With a safe inside the safe, because it's like a walk-in closet that he's armored like a safe, with even more valuable thing in there. Uh, Holmes took the more valuable thing without Watson seeing it. The guy even had a blueprint layout of the flat. Uh, we met the woman that helped us solve the Jack the Ripper murders. Uh, she got exploded along with the judge's house. Or rather, the judge's oh, office. Oh, that sucks. She's still alive currently. She's not dead yet. Because she was outside the house, so the explosion just knocked her... Still sent her flying a good 5-10 feet through the air. So I don't think she's going to make it. I don't think she's going to make it. I don't, I don't think. Maybe she will, though. I mean, she technically did survive Jack the Ripper stuff. But otherwise, if she dies, then she's going to leave her husband a widower. But yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we did that. And after I two... I always, I always hate when there's certain things where they bring somebody back only just to die. I mean, she may not be dead. Also, it makes some amount of sense to bring her back because we needed to have... S 
somebody to talk to from the old games because it further establishes some interesting parallels because the Jack the Ripper case seems to be very important this time. So, that happened. We come back to the place and we just got us brought into Scotland Yard for investigation and interrogation. And now we're back and now we have to look through our room. And the super intense music is playing and I'm going to turn it down because it's really loud and doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Anyways, except I don't know. Oh wait, were you recording all that? Uh yeah, I was also just doing a brief rundown for the audience. I don't know. Of course, more or less, I just came back from watching Pacific Room too, so that was fun. Yeah, and since Jib wasn't around, we couldn't really do a session, so we were just like, I was waiting yeah, for Jib sorry to say about something. That. It's fine. You saw Pacific Room too. My mom is trying to force me to go see Ready Player One, and I'm like, I. Didn't really enjoy the book. I know why people love the book, but I just. Well, I don't know. then again, this I only had a summary of the book by a, uh, I had a summary by uh, some guy who calls himself a. Uh, I don't know. You, you ever look at the Wisecrack videos? This disguise yes. is evidently belongs to Hope. I, I, I watched. I watched the um, gangsters' um, <laughs> summary of it. <laughs> Oh, look at Toby! Bill, if you look in the stairs, you see Toby lying there. Aww. Aha! Uh -huh. Toby, oh, who knows baby. where Holmes is? <laughs> oh, he's just like, I'm not in the mood. We're a fucky joke. This Stop. disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. Did they seriously break Holmes' pipe looking for clues? Possibly. Come on. Look, there's a reason why they usually end up having homes doing their work at times. Belongs to homes. I mean, yeah, look what they did to this place. Like, was this a robbery or an investigation? Uh, yes. They even broke the, wait, turn back, they even broke the picture. To, a little bit, for, to your right? I'm, I'm trying. My right. Yeah, see, look, oh no, actually, it's no. It's just knocked down. They just knocked it down, it's like... Fucking courtesy, guys! Ugh, Come on! What a smell! It reeks of tobacco. Why does it reek of tobacco? Because he smokes. This disguise okay. evidently belongs to Hope. Hope doesn't smoke very often, nor does he do drugs very often. He just sometimes does cocaine. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe he just Holmes maybe he tobacco. just left some. A hole. There must be a false bottom. I need something thin to prise it up. You mean like that nail? No, do A hole. My dad do. A photo of this Irene here. Adler. The woman, according to Holmes. No, no. Oh, no. Irene Adler's entire story is the fact that she pulls one up on Holmes, not because she's smarter than Holmes. It's because Holmes just didn't give a shit about her. In the crime scene story, he just was like, "Well, you want these incriminating photos of you and Irene Adler from back when you were a bachelor, gone, Duke, right? Exactly. So go get them from her. Okay, I don't give a shit. Holmes just thought Irene Adler was a woman that had the photos and he needed to get them from her, and thus Adler's able to quickly pull one over Holmes because Holmes just didn't give a shit. He was being paid to." stop photos of a guy that he didn't care about in an investigation they didn't care about but he needed money at that time the entire investigation is Holmes basically saying well Scotland Yard has nothing for me and I needed money influence right now and I'm bored so I might as well try this though this should be pretty easy that's Holmes' entire thing it's, I think this is going to be easy and boring but fine if it will shut Watson up I'll do it and he does it, and Irene pulls him over because guess what? She's uh, actually a decently clever person. She knows that it's Holmes, and rather than just, you know, fall for it, she goes along with it because guess what? She found a guy and got married after dating the Duke. Because it's been five or so years. She was married. The entire end of her story is, well, guess what, Holmes? Fuck you. And guess what? I'm not going to show the world those pictures. Because I lose out for showing them as well. One. Two. There's no point for me. It's just rude to do that. I'm not a bitch like this Duke obviously thinks I am. So you need to learn to... And three homes. You need to learn to accept that some people can be intelligent. People who... 
if you just misjudge people and their intelligence, you'll get a fast one pulled on you. And that was the entire point of the story. It was not about Holmes falling for some woman because he barely interacted with Adler. It was all about showing that, yes, Holmes, if you overestimate yourself, you'll get duped. It was basically a reminder for Holmes that he's not infallible. It's part of why, you know, Holmes is so cautious with Hound of the Baskervilles. He still gets slightly duped there, but he still wins the case in the end because he is aware that he can be duped now. Holmes's Victoria Cross. I just... A letter addressed to Zachariah Dossett, the clergyman. But what is that doing here? It's a rent reminder. But why should Holmes be concerned about that? Another letter. This one for a certain Escott. Who could that be? This J. Escott must be a worker in the building. A letter addressed to a clerk of the court. Why in heaven's name has Holmes got that? This letter is addressed to a naval captain. My goodness. All these carefully hidden envelopes were addressed to Holmes under various identities. The addresses are therefore those of his hiding places. Holmes has never told me about them. I suppose that he goes there regularly and discreetly to pick up his mail. I cannot waste precious time by going to each of these addresses. I must refine my research. So basically, we need to figure out which of the four addresses Holmes went to. That's actually really clever. This disguise. So we also need to basically pinpoint based on the disguise. This disguise. Oh, hey, look. This bust I... was used to fool Colonel Moran. Okay. Okay, there this we go. Disguise. Well, I got my new wallet set up now. This is what Holmes was wearing yesterday. Holmes, knowing that Scotland Yard is looking for him, he will likely have changed into one of his disguises. I just need to know which one. The best thing to do is proceed by elimination. I will use the wardrobe in the sitting room. So now we just need to go around picking up all the clothing. Oh, hey, there's the blonde wig that he used in the Jack the Ripper case, too. So we're basically collecting all of Holmes's various disguises because we need to use them to figure out which disguise he was using. Uh, I'm kind of pissed off that they don't let you laminate uh, birth certificates anymore. Makes sense. It's annoying, but it makes sense. Because it's more or less a scam to basically make you have to repay for one when they break when they break down. Okay, fair enough. We got all of it. Uh, I'll all. be right back. No problem. Let's get all these disguises. We got all the disguises. I must collect all the... Yeah, I have to go in a bit. Okay.
I must put the right name to the right disguise. I must put... Okay, I, I... Okay, uh... Let's... I think this will okay. be near the final part. Slash... Me and Bill can continue for a bit, sweetie, just so you can... Uh, I guess I could probably be assigned as a co-pilot, as they would say. Crinkle, 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 crinkle. Sorry, I'm just throwing in all the damn receipts I have. Because it just kind of pile up after a while. Yeah, I know. They usually do. So you're just a Pizanomish person. No, I just gotta figure these out. Okay, so let's see. I should be done right. So these shoes should swap places. I think the bowler hat was on the far right. Yeah, the bowler hat should go with the captain. It seems that something in this disguise is missing, but I'm not sure what it might be. There, the entire outfit. Wait, no, you there. Here. So he's in Whitechapel. And how many disguises Perfect. does he have? Now I know what Holmes looks Sherlock like, Holmes. and I know where to search for him. Let me take a look at the map. Enough. Oh, Enough, Bill. There's a reason why Sherlock Holmes is so cool. Okay, let me. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? There we go. Okay, mouse, mouse. <laughs> I, okay, now what? Screw it. Okay, let's leave. It would be better if I took some money before leaving. <laughs> Don't forget your wallet. <laughs> Baines's men have more or less spared my bedroom. How kind of them. It's Watson. <laughs> He's not important enough. That... Oh, shit. I'm insulted. Uh, my, my money. Someone has emptied my wallet. I always keep a... Last night I was too tired to think. But now I have to face the truth. Home stole my money. Like any common low-down <laughs> scoundrel. Who stole my money? Or maybe the cops? Right. I, I know, but no, there no. There could no. be like one constable low on the paper that could have done that. No, but you got to remember, a Watson is an elitist because Watson doesn't mm. like to pay the Baker Street irregulars. You blew up Lucy, Holmes! I'm still scraping bits of Lucy flesh out of me. Hair. You, that Watson. That seems like what? a him issue. Yeah, that seems like a you issue, Watson. You're the one that blew her up! Hey. Nah, I, I think you just assuming that business. I mean, I could have blown her up, yes, but maybe I didn't. Did you ever think about that, Watson? Maybe I didn't blow her up. That... No! You blew her up, Holmes! I think it crashed. Uh, it potentially has, yeah. We're gonna wait. Usually it fixes itself. Hopefully it fixes itself. Usually it fixes uh. itself. Hopefully it fixes itself. Usually it fixes itself. It did not fix itself anyway, this time. Anyway... Oh. Wait, no, no, it did! Holmes's hideout. Six bucks row. There we go. Do yep, and it's doing the autosave. Good. We'll be right back on ends to do.